good Friday evening, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I hate the Dallas Cowboys. I hate the Dallas Cowboys for making me feel the way that I do. I hate doing what I have been doing, which is literally just putting them on blast, talking trash about them. I hate that I've had to say the things that I've had to say today about Demarcus Lawrence. And see, the thing is, hate is a strong word. Hate is an ugly, ugly word. And it's something that you don't want to use. But I don't like feeling like this. And I hate it. Here it is. Another year. Because, see, I have been blessed to have done some incredible things. It's incredible to me that three of the NFL men of the year that I've actually met and done things with. Calais Campbell, Cam Hayward, and Dak Prescott. You could almost say all three of them have been with Joe Boo. Got pictures with Joe Boo. Calais Campbell, every time he sees me, he says, where's Joe Boo? With his deep voice. Maybe Joe Boo is the man of the year maker. I don't know. He's actually, D-Law, he was there. D-Law got pictures with Joe Boo. Joe Boo, back in 2012 or 2013, we did a little interview with him on Facebook. Which is why it hurts so much ragging on him, talking about being tired. And you know, for me, let me explain something to you guys. A lot of times my wife will say, are you paying attention? It's like, yeah, I'm listening to you. But I'm also going with all kinds of other stuff that's going on in, in, at the same time. It's crazy, or I, I, I guess, I don't know. I don't know if it's, I've got different voices in my head or whatever. But a lot of times I'm talking about something and something will spark in my head as I'm going through it, that reminds me of something else and I go off in another direction. So sometimes if you're watching me, you're, I'm going through it, I'm talking about something, and all of a sudden I'm going someplace else because another one of these voices in here said, hey, let's talk about this. But as I was going through and talking about D-Law saying that it was a long season and we're tired and everything and, you know, we, we, we stayed healthy and stuff, but it was just weird as tired. For me personally, I, I don't have that. I, I, I don't understand that. If I know that there's something that I want, if there's something I want, I will find a way. Because, see, I'm going to tell you about me. In 19, summer of 1984, went to JMU. They had a minority student program help us get a little start in school and that's where I saw my bride Tracy she was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen in my life and I just saw her and I was just like wow I fell for her oh my god I fell for her but she didn't fall for me but we became incredible friends incredible friends but somewhere deep, deep, deep inside, I knew I was going to get her and marry. I knew. Now, it did take me 20 years to do it, but we've been married for 20 years. You too. First, I was doing it just kind of, you know, just kind of 
trying to defend the Cowboys and share the experiences that I was blessed enough to have. And then it started doing better. And then people said, you're too old for YouTube. You're an idiot. You don't know how to edit. You don't know how to use a computer. You're not very good looking. You'll never make it on YouTube. Now, I'm not going to say I've made it. I got a long, long ways to go to say I made it. But, bro, I don't get tired. I don't get tired. You'll see me here or in there. Less than 12 hours. I'll get up. I've built that space in there. I built the one out here. I built the one down at the red brick house. I find ways to do stuff like broadcasting live inside the ropes at the draft last year. Because I don't get tired. People make fun of me. They say, oh, well, like Mark Holmes, he, you know, he's doing, you know, 50 videos a day. But guess what? They ain't the same videos. And you're watching them. Why? Because I don't get tired. I do the work. And see, the thing is, is I'm not killing D-Law and the Dallas Cowboys because I hate them. I recall one of the coaches that I had that was always on my ass. Pause. Not that kind of coach. Not a Jerry Sabgusky. But a coach that was always pushing me and giving me a hard way to go. He wasn't doing this to the other people. He was always, you know, and years later I came back as a coach. I love, you know, I love you, man, and everything else. But why were you always on me so damn much? He didn't seem to do that to everybody else. He said, because I saw in you so much that you could achieve. But you weren't putting in the work. And you needed to get pushed to become the person that you are. So it had nothing to do with me not liking you. He said, in fact, I liked you even more. And that's why I wasn't satisfied with seeing you being nothing but the best person you can be. See, I hope that everybody in that Dallas Cowboys organization, that all of us YouTubers will continue to kill the Cowboys for what they do. Tony Romo was right. He said, you know, the Cowboys, they're so close. They're so close. They keep winning and winning and winning. He said they're close to breaking through. And that's true. But the thing is, is they keep settling for, you know, we the boys. Eh, we're making a whole bunch of money. Hey, they're giving us a whole bunch of love. They are underachieving when they are capable of so much more. And when you think about this, I know D-Law's in his 30s now, but I'm going to tell you, bro, your body is going downhill. Trust me, I'm 58 years old, okay? Back in 1984, I used to can run the 3.1 mile cross country course in JMU in 19 minutes. And now, me walking up to the damn church and back, which is two miles, takes me like 40 and I'm sucking wind the whole way it's downhill but understand if you all of you Cowboys players buckle down and not settle not make excuses that we were tired or it was the scheme or it was too complex you have easy street for the rest of your lives. You get that ring. You get that ring. That's immortality, bro. They can't ever take that away. 
Wheat and boys that are living off what those guys did. The Haley's, the Emmett's, the, the Drew Pearson's, the Roger Staubach's, the, the Randy White's, the Ed Sutal Joneses, the Tony Dorsett's, the Raphael Wright's, all of those incredible, the Woodson's, all those guys are the reason why we them boys. And it's time for you guys to make your own path as part of them. To become up there with them. And when you say something like, we are tired, man, sorry. Bro, I love you. But you make a disgrace of what those other guys did before you. And that's why I'm killing them. And I hate it. I hate doing this to the Cowboys. I hate the Cowboys for making me feel this way. <sighs> Let's just hope that maybe things will be different. Thank you very much, good people. I appreciate all of you. And, um, Remember, tell the people you love, you love them. Because you might not get the chance again, and I love you guys. Peace out.